can be a quick opening statement that will take some questions. Sure. Um, uh, good win versus a very, very good team and uh, a very important win on, uh, on a lot of fronts. Um, forget the rivalry for a second, forget the rivalry trophy, um, you know, for our season and on the national landscape, this was uh, really important. Um, proud of our guys. I thought they did a, a good job. Um, I thought we played team ball today. Um, still didn't play 60 minutes and I'm going to need to moving forward with the, you know, against these guys and over and time to hit the reset button and move on. Questions? Coach, first of all, congratulations on a great win. Uh, the atmosphere here, you know, certainly inspires teams just like it does at home with coming into this game. What was the message? We talked about it after the game, but what was the message to the team? We know how important this was, but like you said, it was an opportunity. Well, and that was the message. Uh, you know, number one was reset. We had to hit a reset button. We could, uh, you know, losing the last two games the way we've lost them, you know, we felt like we, we, we really hurt, we, we hurt ourselves. We shot ourselves in the foot against Ohio State, um, you know, when we went up 12-10 and, uh, you know, made just too many errors. And, 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 you know, they won the game, they earned it, but we felt like we gave, we gave things away. Um, and then, to be honest with you, we got throttled last weekend, plain and simple. So when you go home, you need to look yourself in the mirror as a coach, as a player. Um, and we could have sulked about it and we said we needed to hit the reset button and we needed to forget it, move on, and then be better. And uh, I thought we, uh, we did that. I don't know that we had a great week of practice. I really don't. Um, and I think it showed early on in the game. Uh, but uh, important win uh, in, a, in a great environment, in a great rivalry, and one that I hope our guys understand how privileged we're, we are to be a part of it. Maryland only had 21 shots. That's impossible here. Yeah. How, did, uh, how did that happen? What did the defense Well, I would do? tell you uh, my sense was they wanted to, 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 to milk the clock a little bit and, you know, whittle, whittle the clock down to late in the possession, and you saw – I mean, they did a tremendous job of that early in the game. I think they had three or four goals, you know, f when there was 15 seconds left in the clock and they whittled it down to two, three, or, or, or four seconds. And they were, they're backbreakers defensively. Um, so I think that was part of it. I thought the other part was I, th I thought we did a good job defensively. Um, I think they helped us a couple times with some turnovers um, that are uncharacteristic of them. I'm sure we won't see them on thir those on Thursday. Um, but a good, a good, solid job by our, our defense in, in a game they needed to step up and stand tall. Dave, what changed after they got up 5-1? We started to play. You know, what changed was defensively stopped being selfish. And that's been our Achilles heel all year long. I mean, we've shown the propensity to be able to play good, solid defense. I mean, we held Michigan scores, I think, was 31 minutes, right? You know, we do a good job in the first half of Rutgers, who we saw today is a very good team. Um, you know, and in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the first, I guess, 12 minutes, we were selfish. We're late sliding to, to Fairman with a short stick on it. And how, could, how is that possible? We talked about that all week. Um, so we, we, we did a better job of, of, of playing de team defense and support. And that was the biggest difference defensively. Offensively, we finally shared the ball. You know, we've been holding the ball for too long, eight, nine, ten seconds at a clip, and today we, we, we moved it and we let the ball do the work for us a little bit. In coming to the Jack Litch um, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly, and I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dogs, the Jack Litch Law Group. What went into that decision? What did that do for possession? And then well, they're very good, and their wings are very good, obviously, and, and, and Henningsen's very good. And we just felt like, uh, you know, with the matchup we, we had, we were struggling a little bit, so it was, you know, the simple answer is, okay, let's, let's, give, let's give him a change up. Um, we were prepared to go back to, to Kyle if need be, um, and we were prepared to go back to him late. I, I thought Matt was getting a little tired, and uh, uh, Bill Dwan, our associate head coach who handles face-off, assured me he wasn't, and uh, he did a good job. So he came in and gave us uh, an important left against a good face-off team. 
Patrick, with all, with all the postseason implications associated with this game, how encouraging was it to see the team come out and respond to what it did? Um, I think it was nice for our team to bounce back. As, a, as Coach said, we hit the reset button this past week after that loss to Penn State, and I think that that was the best thing for this team. Um, our biggest thing was to get back um, to the defense we played last year, just loose, um, coming in with confidence. And although we didn't start that way this game and we were down early, um, that almost let us kind of loosen up a little bit and just say, all right, like there's only one way out of this, and that's if we fight and if we trust each other. Um, and I think that that was the best thing that could have happened. And uh, we ended up coming back, and it was a good start um, as far as transitioning into who we were last year, and it's going to be even uh, more important week of practice. Along those lines, do you kind of view the last 45, 50 minutes as kind of a blueprint for what you guys need to do defensively? Well, I, I think we need to look at it. You know, film doesn't lie, and I'm sure we're going to look at it and say, wow, they missed this guy, they missed that guy, and vice, vice versa. It happens in every game. You know, and then I think that's what we're going to need to plan for because they're, they're, they're very good coaches. They're going to look at it and go, we missed this look. We had that open and we didn't find it. We need to find it and here's how we're going to find it. And we need to kind of forecast a little bit as to what they were successful with and what we think they might do. And I'm sure they'll do the same. But, but if I may follow up on that, does just what you were talking about philosophically, being able to be less selfish and all that, being able to channel that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 Patrick, we, 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 we've been selfish far too much and far too long this season. It's been an ongoing battle. Um, you know, that we've been fighting and I've been wrestling with these guys with. And, and I, I don't think it's an intentional thing like I want to do this, but we're doing it. And uh, when we do it, you see how poor we can look. You know, I think you saw that for 20's worth of goals last weekend. Um, and I think you saw at moments tonight uh, what I would view as a very positive step for this group. And I hope what they'll do is they'll take it as a, a, a learning experience and a learning tool and say, OK, here's what happens when we don't, and here's what happens when we do. Patrick, um, Jared Bernhardt scored two goals early in the first quarter after that. Much nothing. What did you do against him? Um, I don't think I did anything extra. I think uh, what happened is we just started playing that team, team defense that uh, I was talking about. Uh, we just had the utmost trust in each other. If, if he had a step on me, uh, Owen Caldwell, Jack Rapine, any of the short sticks were there to support me. And I would recover, and we'd bump out and just reset. Um, so I don't think I specifically did anything different. Um, I just think as a group, we just played together, played as a, as a unit. Can the players talk about the joy of actually getting the trophy? You guys almost look like you lost. I'd like to see you smile a little bit, because you did win today. What's it like to finally host, host that trophy up? Uh, I mean, personally, it's pretty surreal. Um, you know, dreaming of playing this rivalry. I can't speak to Pat, who's a senior and, you know, hasn't gotten a chance to hold it. Um, but all I can say is it's pretty surreal to finally get it and, you know, get a chance to compete against them Thursday again, too. Um, yeah, so as far as emotion-wise, uh, we understand that we're in a position where we, we have to, like, win out almost the rest of the season and that this game was a good step in the right direction, but next Thursday is even more important. We're going to see a new Maryland team, um, and they're going to see a new our team. Um, and so the biggest point is we take this win, uh, we learn from it, learn from our mistakes, but um, as much as we can be happy now that we're hoisting it up, and we'll, it'll be something to definitely look back on. Um, but right now, what's in front of us is another Maryland team on Thursday. Joey, a lot of players would kind of shy away after committing two turnovers kind of in the fourth quarter like that. Can you kind of go through your fourth uh, goal little, uh, on that low angle shot? Uh, I knew the shot clock was low. Um, Boy had the ball up top, um, and I noticed my defender wasn't really paying great attention to me at X, so I just cut and you know shot a ball with a few seconds left and was lucky for it to go in. And what else was working offensively for you? Uh, I mean, again, it comes down to the whole unit. Um, I think, like Coach has, you know, been preaching, we finally shared the ball um, pretty really well this, you know, today, um, and just running Coach Benson's motion offense, um, not caring about who scores, um, cutting hard off ball, um, and really just, you know, sharing the ball. The, um, you know, I know you're very familiar with this <coughs> rivalry and, and what it means, but what was kind of going through your head, and what does it mean to actually be on the field playing in it? You know, kind of those first few minutes. What was it feeling like for you? Uh, it's pretty special. Um, you know, walking out there, 
um, with our guys, um, knowing the tradition, um, all the alums that have played in this game, you know, what it means to college cross. Um, it was pretty special, and, you know, I'm just happy to be a part of it. And Dave, what, when you say you hope that the guys realize the privilege of playing in this rivalry game, what, what do you mean by, by that? Look, no, number one, no, none of us are, are, are owed anything. You know, it, 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 it's our privilege to coach, it's theirs to, to play, and uh, in life you get the, the opportunity to be a part of something special. And in college athletics, um, you know, and in athletics in general, there are, the, there are these rivalries that are, are bigger than all of us. You know, they're, 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 they're bigger than, you know, just one game. This, this, this isn't about just tonight, it's about all the, the games that have been played, you know, here or in, at Homewood Field. It's about all the players that have come before us. It's about the respect and reverence that our guys need to have for not only our players that played in it, but their players that have played in it and the great players that have played in it. And we find ourselves in something that's just far, far bigger than us. And I, I just hope that they understand that we're not, we're not guaranteed that. And not every, not, not everybody, not every, excuse me, not every program gets to be a part of, you know, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, and one of the fiercest rivalries in the, in, in the sport of lacrosse. So my, my, my hope is, is they just understand how fortunate we are to be a part of it. Okay, thanks for, uh, for your call.